Hey everybody! I hope you're doing okay. I'm going to do another pour today inspired by Melly V. I love her cloudy effect pours and so I'm going to do an attempt again today because I just really love that effect. It's so ethereal looking and I love that effect. I was actually listening to a worship song and I just wanted to, to pour something that felt heavenly. So that's what I'm going to do today. <clears throat> so I am using Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, which is a beautiful color. Liquitex Prism Violet, so it's not the real deep purple like dioxazine. It's a little lighter. So it's not quite so dark. I've got a little bit of Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics 24 karat gold. So it's got a lot of beautiful sparkle. And this is, uh, she uses satin enamel. They didn't have satin enamel but they had outdoor living. And when I read the label, it says that it has a, an eggshell finish, so it's not a matte finish. And eggshell and satin are the same. So I'm hoping it'll have the same effects with the outdoor living. That is mixed half and half with Artist Loft White. So that's what's in this cup. And she uses Liquitex Pouring Medium, which is what this is. So I'm basically just going to pour in a little bit. It doesn't really, I don't think it really takes much. So that's going to be added to all of them. So I'm just going to kind of put in, I don't know, I probably put about two tablespoons there. That's about a tablespoon, a little over a tablespoon, about a tablespoon. So it's, I, it's not... I'm not measuring it. I'm not sure how much she uses. I don't think she uses a lot, so I'm just using a little bit. So I'm just going to stir that in first. Anytime I add Floetrol or any kind of medium to my paint, I always mix that in first before I put water in. You want your pouring medium and your paint to bind together, whether you're using Floetrol or Liquitex or glue or anything. You want them to bind well before you add your water. It's just smart practice to do. So the white is definitely thinner. The metallic is a little bit thicker. The purple is super thick. And this is kind of thick. I'm going to add just a little bit more pouring medium because the purple is so thick. Not a lot, but just a little. The rest I'm going to add is water. And she gets them to a pretty fluid consistency. And they are not fluid at this point. They are pretty thick. And there's no silicone that's going to be added to this pour either. So I'm going to start adding my water. I may have put too much in there. Let me put a little bit into my purple there. Still too thick. Sometimes it's just hard to tell if you're at, putting too much water in or not. And usually I have my water in my squirt bottle, but it has Floetrol in it and I didn't want to add the Floetrol into the mixture because she doesn't put Floetrol in her mixture. So I thought, well, I'll just do straight out water. Still a bit on the thicker side. I'm going to add just a little bit more. This is very shimmery and pretty, this teal metallic cobalt is what they call it. And I, when I think of cobalt blue, I think of like a 
really blue blue like a royal blue and this is more of a teal color to me so I don't know why they called it metallic cobalt blue because it doesn't look cobalt to me this is going to require quite a bit of paint it was thicker than the metallic Okay, so I'm going to need about 10 ounces of paint or so for this canvas, but I'm going to put this aside first. Again, there's no silicone added, it's just Liquitex pouring medium, and probably as much water as there is pouring medium in it. But I have some other extra white that has been made for quite a while, and I'm just going to use it. put a wet base down. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this cup up. This is a 14 by 18 canvas and I'm just using my fingers to spread it out. Liquitex Prime Medium does have a tiny bit of an odor, I've noticed. It's not bad, but uh, I have noticed that it does have an odor. Whereas I don't feel like Floetrol and Oatrol have much of an odor. That will usually get rid of bubbles, is just dropping your canvas on the table. It's kind of like leveling a cake pan with batter in it. If you do that a few times, that'll usually help get the bubbles out. This has the same effect. Pretty fluid. I just wanted to make sure I've got it pretty well covered. I just wanted a wet base coat. And you can always use your heat gun just to pop bubbles if you want. LED is very inspirational to me. I don't try to, I'm not trying to like copy her. I just love what she does and I love the effects. So when it comes to paint pouring, there's, you're going to end up copying somebody one way or another, it, but no two pours are ever alike. So it's not like you've got copyright laws that, you know, you can't do a certain pour painting. Acrylic pouring is acrylic pouring and so many people are doing it. So this is a 12 ounce cup and I want a good 10 ounces of paint so I want to fill it up pretty full so I think, I think I'm going to start at the bottom layer I'll scoot this over so you can see it better I'll start that bottom layer with the metallic turquoise I'm going to kind of try to layer them. So a little bit of white. Purple. And a little bit more white. I mean, turquoise. That was turquoise, not white. Now I'm adding white. A little bit. I'll add a little bit more. Put pretty much all the gold in. Back to purple. White. Finish out my gold. These are pretty, pretty colors. And I'll top it off with the, what's left of the turquoise or the uh, 
cobalt, metallic cobalt as they call it. So now, well, let's put a little, little bit more white on the top just for the fun of it. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to do this little tree ring effect except for you need to be able to get it in the center if you're going to do it, right? And I'm not pouring it slowly. I'm, I'm going kind of quick on this one. take what's left in this cup because it's so beautiful. You're beautiful. And the rest of this beautiful gold I could just swim in these colors. They're so gorgeous. And I've got a piece of photo paper. I'm going to turn that cup over. I'll show you in a minute. So, oh, this is beautiful. Just already the shimmer with the colors is fabulous. This is heavy. It's got a lot of paint on it. So I'm going to circle it around first, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and go off the corner, even though I don't want to. Because it covers up all that beauty. I'm going to leave it off center. I know she tilts hers around quite a bit, but I think because I made it so fluid, it moved really fast. And I love this shimmer along here. I don't know if I can move it. Just stretch those shimmery edges out a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it. It's amazing how that white really, really takes over. I'm going to do a little blowing. Just seeing what it did if I, if I blew on it. It's a lot. I am going to do this here. I'm just going to squeal some paint in. What little drips I can because it's so beautiful. And you just don't want it to go to waste. I'm going to take a piece of this paper here and smash it down. Pretty. 
So this is butcher paper that you know, my paint is on, so it'll be great to let it dry on. I'll take a little of this and go through here just a little bit. I have my cup here with this beautiful color here. Move it around here a little bit. I've got a lot, a lot of paint on here. I think I'm gonna turn this. and pour a little of this off. So that I can get something really beautiful from there. So I'll put that down there. Okay. Don't like that. So we'll just smash a balloon in it, right? If you don't like what you did, smash a balloon, but I like that effect. That's beautiful. So I'm tempted to just go ahead and smash again. interesting effect. You can see the whole canvas. I need to maybe turn it the other way. It doesn't have that because I think because there's so much white underneath it's not bringing the color out. Oh, a slid. I like that. I like that. I'm going to try to put a little bit of this color back down on the table again. I'm going to smash my balloon in the color. That didn't work. Just curious what it would do. It's different, but I love it. I love it. It's Melly D inspired, but it's Sandra manipulated. Okay. Yes, I like to play with my paints. What can I say? But those are some beautiful effects. And it's so pretty on the table. I'm trying to clean my balloon off though. Maybe one more time, right there. Maybe one more time right here. Okay, that's going to be it. No more balloon stamping. That's cool though, even how it did that. It took away some of my metallic edges, but that's cool. Oh, a little bit. Bring those metallics back out. I'm sure it will change because it's Liquitex pouring medium and it's got the white paint and the cells and everything will keep doing their thing, I'm sure. Oh, should I do it one more time right there? Because that is looking so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My balloon, it's getting away from me. 
Now these colors, y'all, are just fabulous. Artist Loft Cobalt Blue and Prism Violet together are just heavenly. I want to get it right up to that edge. Push it, push it, push it. I don't think you can see the shimmer. It is just beautiful. It is very heavenly looking. Just beautiful. I've got so much pretty stuff on my table too. So my question is, do I do anything with this? I'm in love. I'm officially in love. So there you have it. It was Melly D's Cloudy Effect. And I messed up the center, so I had to start doing something with it because I wasn't happy. And what I did was the balloon smash a couple of times in different spaces. And it's just really exploding. See, I want to do it back here again one more time. So even though it looks this way, it's going to continue to change because that's the nature of the Liquitex pouring medium mixed with the satin enamel and a lot of the white. It, you know, it, the white takes over the other colors, but then it gives it very soft and subtle color tones. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got beautiful pieces here. make a beautiful background for something or just even framed it would be beautiful there's a shimmer of the metallic gold in it and a little bit of that sparkly cobalt teal and then this one has some beautiful stuff I'd love to see those darker colors come out so we'll see how that dries there. But I am, I am very, very pleased because it became my own unique thing. And that's, that's what it's all about is just creating and enjoying the moment and just going with the flow. Letting the spirit move you. Because sometimes it's just a nice happy surprise, you know? So, I can't wait for this to dry. And it may totally change as it dries, but I'm loving it right now. So, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Check out all the links below the video. Subscribe down in the bottom right corner. Click on the bell if you want to get notified when I do new videos. And come back and check out what I do next. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.